Okay, I have a very interesting and weird topic. Like, it is kind of wacky, I'm gonna admit that, but I wanted to kind of like think through this and process these thoughts and kind of share it with the world. And I don't know, let me know if I'm making any sense when I'm saying this, but it's just a, a thought that's been tugging on my heart. So the thought is like, are we going to look back at eating meat and using animal products and the thought is, are we going to look back at eating meat as completely barbaric? Are we going to look back at it the same way that we look at slavery in the human condition? Are we going to look back at it in the same light that we do now when we look back at slavery and how absolutely stupid and horrible and just like mind-bogglingly insane that was? I don't know. I think we will. And here's why. So I'm not a vegetarian. It's, I know, it's very confusing, but I do eat meat and but as I've kind of gone through this like spiritual journey and just growing older and becoming more wise um I've just kind of been more and more like turned off by meat um and it's just like this feeling like I just have like less and less of a desire to eat it and more like a desire to eat like vegetables and stuff on that line <clears throat> so the key piece here is I just feel as I am growing on this spiritual journey, I feel less and less disconnected from other species. I think we're, we're really just all souls. And... I truly feel that we're really all just souls and energy. We're the same. We may have different conscious experiences from different animals, but at the end of the day, I really think we are the same thing behind the biological entity that we are. So going back to the specific human condition, in history, we look back at slavery and we look back at the lack of women's rights and today we understand how absolutely insane that is to treat another human differently based on the color of their skin. So as we evolve on this spiritual journey and I think it transcends even biological like animals, I think it transcends into the fact that we're all souls and we're all the same thing underneath. Just like a black person and a white person are the same, a human and a cow are the same. They're both experiencing reality and having their own consciousness. But obviously it's experienced in a different way. A cow does not think like we do um, and doesn't experience and think how we do. But that isn't a reason to treat another soul um, differently. So I think similar to how we look at racism and how absurd racism is, I think in the future, moving forward in some capacity, we're going to start to realize, wait, we're not separated from species either. And it's going to become this idea of like, speciesism like we're not gonna we shouldn't be treating animals any differently just because they're not humans it's soul to soul just like in humanity you don't treat a human differently because we're all humans we shouldn't treat species differently because we're all souls 
And then if you think about that idea and transcend that to like intelligent species, like there's probably advanced alien civilizations. And, you know, if we found like another civilization out there that's maybe less advanced than us, we shouldn't be treating them terribly. And we would hope that an advanced civilization that's more, you know, powerful and advanced than us wouldn't treat us any differently because um, we're not on the same level. So it's like, we shouldn't be treating a cow terribly. And we would hope that a advanced civilization wouldn't treat us terribly. So I think that is kind of the concept that I'm trying to portray. It's very, very difficult to bring this from my head and my thoughts into words, but I hope I'm doing okay. And I think of my my dog, his name is Dalton, he's the cutest little monkey in the world, and I look into his eyes and I see his face, and I'm like, he's no different than me. He may think differently and act differently because he's different biologically, but I know at the end of the day, like, he is a soul, and he's having an experience, and it's just at a different level than, than I'm experiencing it, so... Yeah, I think that should be applied to, to all species. And I think there needs to be greater love and understanding. And I think we need to move away from using animals um, and figure out a different way to sustain ourselves. I don't think um, using other life forms is appropriate. I think it's could be seen as barbaric. So yeah, that's my like very deep thought process on this issue, and I think that the same way the color of your skin doesn't matter to the human experience, I don't think your biological form should matter to the soul experience. Alright, well, let me know what you think. It's a heavy one, but thanks for listening, I appreciate it. Um, I do way lighter videos than this, like I literally, like, a couple of weeks ago I went to like McDonald's and tried a Big Mac for the first time so I'm also fun and light and carefree so it's not all like this but I do like to dabble into this a little bit so all right like comment subscribe and I appreciate you listening to me uh, I don't take it for granted thank you